Never worry about passing another nursing school exam ever again. Head over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube to join for free. Welcome to another episode of Pharmacology in Practice, where we're exploring real world applications of pharmacology in nursing. Today we'll be discussing lactulose and sodium polycystrine sulfonate. So starting with lactulose, this is a synthetic sugar used for treatment of constipation, and a big one here is hepatic encephalopathy, a condition where we get a cloudy brain with liver disease. As an osmotic laxative, it works by drawing water into the colon, softening the stool, and promoting bowel movements. So that's why I called lactulose. It loosens the bowel, and also we lose ammonia from the body and into the body. So let's consider the case study of Mary, a 68-year-old patient with cirrhosis of the liver due to long-term alcohol abuse. Remember, with cirrhosis, simply think scarrosis. The liver becomes very hard with a bunch of scar tissue. So Mary is experiencing episodes of confusion and lethargy, which her doctor has attributed to hepatic encephalopathy. Fancy words from a cloudy brain from the buildup of ammonia inside the blood. So to manage her condition, Mary's provider has prescribed lactulose. But remember, lactulose. We lose ammonia from the body into the body with those loose bells with lactulose. Now, nurses play a vital role in educating Mary and her family about the proper administration of this medication, which typically is taken orally in the form of syrup. They should emphasize the importance of gradually increasing the dosage until Mary achieves two to three soft bowel movements per day. Nurses should also monitor for potential side effects, such as abdominal cramping, flagellants, fancy words for farting, and even diarrhea, and providing guidance on dietary adjustments if needed. Next is sodium polycystrine sulfonate, brand name k -exalate. This is a potassium binding resin used to treat hyperkalemia, fancy words for high potassium inside the blood. It works by exchanging sodium ions for potassium ions in the intestine allowing excess potassium to be eliminated through feces, basically going from the body and into the body. So now let's consider a case study of John, a 72-year-old patient with chronic kidney disease and a history of heart failure. During his routine blood work, John's potassium levels were found to be really elevated, putting him at high risk for potential life-threatening complications. Simply remember, hyperkalemia is high potassium. And remember, potassium pumps the heart. So with high potassium, we get high pumps in the heart, leading to deadly dysrhythmias. So to manage his hyperkalemia, John's nephrologist has prescribed sodium polycystrine sulfonate. Nurses play a crucial role in ensuring the safe administration of this medication, which typically is given orally or even rectally as suspension. Now, the nurses should emphasize the importance of proper hydration and monitoring potential side effects, such as constipation, nausea, and vomiting. These nurses should also educate John on dietary modifications, such as limiting potassium-rich foods. The key term to know is green leafy veggies. These guys love to come up on nursing exams. So in this episode, we've explored the medications like lactulose and sodium polycystrine sulfonate, highlighting their mechanism of action and patient scenarios. By understanding these drugs and their implications, nurses can provide comprehensive care to patients with various GI conditions and renal conditions, ensuring safety and well-being. So remember, don't be scared, be prepared. Looking to cut your study time in half? Head on over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube. You can sign up for free and get access to all of this.